So around this time two years ago, I was hanging out with a bunch of friends, and uh, one of them came up with the brilliant idea, uh, and he said, hey guys, why don't we go to a haunted house? That sounds like fun, right? And of course, everyone in the group was like, yeah, yes, let's go, let's, yes. Now this is something that I imagine happens to other introverts, not just me, it's all of us, where we get roped into going to places where we don't, don't want to go, right? Because I, I love the idea of people coming inches from my face, trying to scare the literal poo out of me. Love it so much. But the decision was made, we were gonna go, we were gonna do this haunted house, and I had to pay for my own ticket, right? Because I couldn't get out of it at that point without seeming like a complete douche canoe, like a canoe full of douche. I couldn't really escape this, I had to go. So I'm gonna recount this tale for you other introverts out there who might be going through a similar situation where you're dragged to go to a haunted house and you don't wanna go, but, but, but I survived and here's how I did it. The best defense, okay, is a good offense. That's a cliche, right? Right? Uh, even if it isn't the cliche, that's what we're going with, All right? Work for me. We went to a place that had various different stations of fright, and we would go inside, and they each, each had a theme. There was like an alien invasion theme. There was like a like a like a sludge toxic waste one, right? Tons of fun, right? So you would go to each of these stations, right? Go through, walk through, have people scare you, right? And then you would leave and go to the next one. Right? Because that, again, just sounds like the most fun thing ever. As with most places that have, like, real-life people acting in these haunted house situations, they're not allowed to touch you. That's, like, the rule. It's like, you go and, like, they're not allowed to touch you, um, but that, obviously, they can get right up in your freaking face and just, just, like, breathe at you. And, like, that could spread pathogens. That's not safe. Before entering each themed establishment, okay, think about the theme of that. Think about what could possibly come. And, sh and like show its face at you. Okay, think about that before you enter just to give yourself an idea of what could go down. One of the stations that we went into, it was like a dollhouse theme. Okay, right? And that, that's scary. That's creepy, right? And there's, we went to this one room and there's this one girl who's like sitting in this chair, like dead. She's dressed like a doll. She's like dead, like laying there. Let me just get up and try and reenact this, okay? So she's like, she's like here and she's like, like dead, like, like, uh. And then she gets up and she's like, like, play with me. Here's what I did, okay? I, I lashed back at her vocally, but in a way that made sense to the theme. She was asking me to play, so I accepted her invitation, okay? I accepted it. Yeah, let's grab a ball or something. You got it? You got something to play with? Let's do it. I'm so excited to be here right now. The actress who was playing, like, the zombified doll thing, she got so confused, okay, that she just kind of moved on from me. Maybe because she didn't have a witty retort. Maybe she wasn't that good at her job. Um, but I, that's a successful, th that's how you do it. So we're going through all these things, okay, and then we get to the next station, and this is the alien invasion one, right? So fun, right? And we're walking through here, I'm employing the same tactic, anytime somebody says something at me, I will talk back at them in like a yell laugh. We get to this one room in the alien invasion area, it's empty. You know that's bad news. You know it's bad news. To my right is this like long platform thing, and I'm like, someone's gonna come and walk out on that, and well it happened, somebody came and walked out on that, and in Instantly, what I did is I pulled out my phone and started pretending that he was a model, right? And just saying like, yes, work for me, yes. At the end of the night, we were done, okay? And I and I reflected on it, it, it personally, reflected on the experience. I did not enjoy myself, nor do I ever think I will enjoy myself at a haunted attraction such as this. I don't like when people try and scare me. I'm okay with movies doing it not human beings, not cool ranch Doritos. But I also recognize that I handled it pretty, pretty okay well. Pretty all right, you know? Because sometimes you get you have to go to places that you don't want to go to because it just happens that your friends go there and you don't want to be alone watching Netflix and eating, you know, comfort food for the rest of your life. Sometimes as an introvert, it's really good to bust out of your comfort zone and this is quite a literal example of that. I was very uncomfortable, but uh, it was an experience and experience is always better than not experience. So that is my how to survive haunted houses for introverts. Tale slash lesson. But I want to know if you guys have ever been dragged into something you're very uncomfortable with um, and tell me how you survived. Let me know in the comments um, or make a video and tweet it at me. That sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for today. As always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome and I will see you guys on Friday. <laughs>